Hello, Robot Builders. I'm Nick. And today at Robot City Workshop, we will be building the 7-in-1 Solar Rechargeable Space Fleet by OWI Robotics. This kit is appropriate for ages 10 and up. However, if you're part of our after-school program or in-store workshops, you can be as young as 7 years old and still enjoy building this kit. Let's unbox. In this instructional video, we will be building a number of different modules and parts before completing our actual robot. So let's get started. During this build, some tools that you may need will include diagonal cutters and a pair of scissors. Take your diagonal cutters and remove parts B16 and B9 from the molding. Once you have those two pieces, just give them another look-see to make sure that you've removed all burrs. This is just a good habit to develop for any build. Now take the two pieces, slide part B9 over B16, and your landing gear is complete. Now we're going to assemble the front wheel. Take your diagonal cutters and remove parts A10 from the molding. You'll need two of these. Now find part P14, which looks like this, and remove the center and set that aside for now so that you can create the outer ring of your wheel. Repeat this process. Now find part P8, which is your round shaft. Attach a wheel on either side, and the front wheel is complete. Now we're going to assemble our solar module. For that, you'll need three pieces of the included double-sided tape, your solar panel, and part B10. You'll notice three small rectangles. Place the provided double-sided tape on said rectangles and then insert the wire from the solar panel through the large opening of part B10. Move the remaining paper from the double-sided tape to reveal the adhesive. Now press the solar panel firmly into position. You must remove the plastic coating from the solar panel. And now your solar module is complete. Now we're going to assemble our battery module. Take your battery pack and go ahead and insert the two AAA batteries. Now find part B7, now find part A7. Remember the insides from our wheels that I asked you to set aside earlier. We're going to need both of those and one more. Take part A7 and place those into the three rectangles so that it looks like this and come back to part B7, take our battery pack, and insert it so the batteries are facing downward, taking care to thread the wires through this small groove. Now we're going to attach A7 so that it holds our battery pack in place. Now we're going to set that aside and find parts B17 and B18. Once you have them, you're going to attach them to either side at the end of your wires. Now we're just going to secure that in place and your battery module is complete. Now we're going to assemble our upper gearbox. 
For the first step, you're simply going to take part P9 and attach the tiny pinion gear to the end of the shaft so that the shaft doesn't extend beyond the pinion gear. With that in place, we're going to take part P9 with the now attached pinion gear and place that into part A6 so that it looks like this. Step one complete. For step two of the gearbox, we're just going to get our motor into position, taking care to thread the wires through this small groove before pushing our motor into position. Step two complete. For step three of assembling the upper gearbox, we're going to take our two shafts, part P6, and we're going to place them into these two openings here so that it looks like this. Step three complete. Now we're simply going to place part B8 onto the shaft closest to the base of this part so that it looks like this. Step three complete. Now for step four, we're going to take our two yellow gears, placing the first on top of part B8 and the second on the remaining shaft. Step four complete. Now for step five, we're going to take part P2, which is a very small blue gear, and we're going to place that on this small plastic peg so that it makes contact with the closest yellow gear. Now we're going to take part P4 and slide that into the little opening beside of our blue gear so that it looks like this. Step five complete. And now for step six, you're going to find part A2 and close up your gearbox. Step six complete. Now for step seven of the gearbox assembly, you're going to go back to this plastic molding and remove the two remaining wheels, parts A10, and go ahead and grab that last needed piece of foam for the outside of each tire and attach those on either side of the shaft protruding from the gearbox. And now your upper gearbox is complete. Now if you want to test out your gearbox, simply take your assembled battery module and attach the two pieces together and we can see that it works. It works a little too well. Here we're going to assemble our lower gearbox. For this we're going to need parts B12, parts B14, B15, our hexagonal shaft, as well as parts A8 and A9. For step one, let's simply take our hexagonal shaft, P7, take part B15 and place it on the shaft. And now, taking care to note the direction of the arrows on parts B12, we're going to place parts B12 on either side, making sure that the arrows are facing in the same direction. Step one, complete. For step two of building our lower gearbox, we're going to take part A8, and we're going to place our wheels and shaft into position so that it looks like this. Step two, complete. For step three, we're going to take part B14, 
and our last remaining small shaft and simply pop this into position on top so that it looks like this. Step 3 complete. Before we finish the lower gearbox, I cannot stress enough how important it is to make certain there are no burrs on any pieces, burrs being the small pieces of plastic that remain on pieces once you cut it free from the molding. In other words, make sure that all of the surfaces are smooth. And for the last step, we're going to take part A9, and we're just going to snap that into place, and your lower gearbox is now complete. Now we're going to take our upper gearbox and lower gearbox and connect the two together. so that they look like this. Now, if we want to test out our combined gearboxes, let's simply bring in our battery module and test it out. And we see that the two function properly together. And now, with both of our gearboxes complete and tested, we can choose any of the seven models from the Solar Rechargeable 7-in-1 Space Fleet by OWI Robotics to build. I'm going to disassemble our gearbox as I've chosen to build the space rover which requires the upper gearbox. So let's get started with our space rover. To assemble the space rover you need your upper gearbox, parts B11, B13, and the front wheel. For step one, you're simply going to take part B13 and attach that to the front of your upper gearbox so that it looks like this. Now we're going to take our front wheel and snap that into position on part B11 and attach those two parts together. And for the last step, step three, just swivel this wheel into position and your space rover is complete. Now, for your power source, you're going to take your battery module and your micro rechargeable battery and attach the two for five seconds. Now that we have our power source charged, simply attach the battery to the top of the robot. Remember, if you liked this video, click the thumbs up button and subscribe for future instructional videos. And if you'd like to see one of the other models built from the 7-in-1 Solar Rechargeable Space Fleet by OWI Robotics, simply leave a comment down below. And have fun building!